I'm going to show you a little trick I learned today. Uh, my weakness is reading. I hate reading. I love math. I love numbers. And my wife, she could read a book a day. I, it, it amazes me, you know, how some people could do certain things. And like I can do numbers really good, but she can read good. So I'm going to show you this little thing, how to get the computer to read to you. Just say, for instance, you go to a website. And I'm going to read this part right here. It says, uh, no point vaccinating those who've already had COVID-19. Uh, the Cleveland Clinic study suggests. And say, for instance, you want to read all of this stuff, uh, blah, 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 and go on down. And say, for instance, this right here. I'm a, here go how you get the computer to read to you. You highlight this, whatever you want, right click, copy, and go to a Word document. This is Windows 10 I got. Right click, or you can hit Control V and just paste it. Now, here go what you do. You, wherever you want to start reading, the computer you want to start reading, you can start click here or here. We'll just start up here and just go to review and click right here where it says read aloud. Click Important on. observations. Of all enrolled participants, 5% had previous SARS-CoV-2 infection. Compared to 59% of non-infected participants, only 47% of previously infected participants were vaccinated by the end of the study. About 63% of all vaccinated participants received the Moderna vaccine. Okay, and the other thing that's cool about this when you in the review mode, you got your controls over here. So you can click right here and hit play. The analysis of cumulative COVID-19 incidents revealed that during the course of the study, SARS-CoV-2 infection occurred. You click it for pause and you can go back. The analysis of all enrolled See participants. All hit pause. And we come down here. You can also come right here where it says settings. Click on that and you can change we got Mark talking now. Let's let's go to, I think you say that zero. We click on it. We hit play. Importantly, not a single incidence of SARS-CoV-2 infection was observed in previously infected participants with or without vaccination. That's pretty cool. Or see, they only have three of them right now. You go to settings. You got David, Zara, and Mark. So we've been listening to David. And what you can also do, you click anywhere in here and you can go to settings. You could change the speed. So let's play this. Interestingly, no significant difference in COVID-19 incidents was observed between previously infected and currently unvaccinated participants. Click on it and Previously it infected and currently vaccinated participants and previously uninfected and currently vaccinated participants. The participants from these three groups exhibited a significantly lower incidence of SARS-CoV-2 infection compared to Slow previously unaffected and currently unvaccinated let's participants. Specifically of all infections during the study. <laughs> he he sounded kind of drunk. So we'll just speed it up right there. 99.3% occurred in participants who were not infected previously and remained unvaccinated. In contrast, so I'm hit pause. So those settings, you can speed it up, slow it down. You can change the names, different people. And I thought that was pretty cool. So if this video helps, subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a great day.